this one, this one's going to be kind of a messy one. But what we want to do is try to draw the cell as best we can. So let's set up our diagram at first. We're going to have to change it a little bit because this one's kind of a complicated one. But draw the same template you always draw. And uh, you will have to get your eraser out for this, so have that handy. We're going to change a little bit at the very end. And our salt bridge, and just label everything. <coughs> Might as well have everything labeled. Okay, we've got our salt bridge, anode, cathode, everything's pretty set up. Now, uh, is the top or the bottom one the anode? The bottom one undergoes oxidation because there's electrons in the products, or losing electrons means oxidation. So let me do the bottom one first. There's no metal, so I'm going to pick platinum. Whenever there's not a metal, put platinum as, as your electrode. Okay, well what happens? We're going to introduce H2 gas. So this is an H2 gas bubble in and really you can just draw that or you can have it it's really good the reaction is going to happen at the platinum when the bubbles hit the platinum then it will turn into H plus aqueous and it loses electrons so we have electrons going around the bend here So far, so good. We've done the left-hand side. Okay. Now let's do the right-hand side. This part's a little more crazy. So we've got multiple players here. We've got Hg2Cl2. We've got Hg liquid and Cl minus aqueous. Okay. Uh, which do you think of those three is the least dense, meaning the one at the topmost layer? The solid, the liquid, or the aqueous? The aqueous is going to be at the top. There's going to be a couple layers here. So we're going to have Cl minus aqueous. And I'll just put it like this. The solid and the liquid are more dense. They're actually going to be sitting at the bottom. So. Does anybody know what would be more dense, liquid mercury or this mercury chloride salt? Just from general knowledge. The mercury is one of the most dense metals. So it's really, really heavy. You wouldn't know that otherwise unless you had learned it somewhere. Okay, in the problem I would have had to specify that or you've learned it somewhere else. So we're going to have a layer of mercury here, liquid. It's an extremely dense liquid. And then the solid is actually going to be sitting on top of it, the salt. The problem is, we sort of have an electrode and we don't have an electrode. What is the electrode here? Is it a solvent? Oh, thanks. Uh, a solid. You're right, you're right, a solid. Thanks. Okay, which one do you think is the electrode? The solid? The salt, not exactly. We usually want a metal. So we're going to use mercury. The salt, salts don't tend to work well <laughs> as electrodes. Uh, so we want to use, even though it's a solid, we're going to use the liquid mercury. The problem with this question is a salt, just like imagine sodium chloride, you're not going to nicely pack that into a nice little electrode that you can stick in there. The mercury liquid, you cannot pack into a nice little electrode that you can stick in there because it's a liquid. So in this case, here's where you can use your eraser. All you need is this wire going down into this solution.
So you do have electrode, it's mercury liquid. However, this electrode cannot be formed into a solid. It's the only one that can't because it's the only solid that's it's the only metal that's a liquid at room temperature. All other metals you have a bar like this one. But in this case, uh, it's the only one that's liquid. So in the rare case that you do have mercury, you just stick a wire going all the way down to the bottom. Um, but this would be the only one that you'd ever possibly have to do that with. And then, of course, fill in your salt bridge. You can pick whatever salt you want. Let's try KCl as our salt. And that's really all you'd have to do for it. I'd also like to write the shorthand notation for this. Since it's kind of a complicated one, you can see how this works. So let's do the shorthand notation. So double, double line. We have H plus aqueous for the anode. Vertical line, H2 gas. So we're going to put different phases in, in different sections in line. Platinum solid electron. Now let's do the right hand side. We have the chlorine minus. Aqueous. Uh, in this case, the next, since it's a liquid, even though it's the electrode, is going to be the next one. And then finally, the solid. So the solids will go on the outside, the very outside of the picture. This is actually the reaction that occurs in any pH meter. In most pH meters, it's actually this reaction that's measuring the voltage in your uh, solution and turning that, converting that voltage into a pH. Questions on this one? Yes? The bridge, what is it doing with the uh, cathode side? Like, what is it reacting with? The cathode, uh, let's see. So our reaction, if you look up on your paper, where you have the cathode reaction, you'll see that we're producing Cl, Cl minus aqueous. And so we're having an excess of Cl minus aqueous charge. And so because to avoid that buildup, this is going to go into the salt bridge. And the K plus is going to join it and be happy in order to prevent that excess CL minus buildup.